Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about everybody's favourite subject. No, it's not new camera bodies and no, it's not new camera lenses. It's new batteries. So on a more serious note, obviously with the launch of the Z5, Nikon also released a new battery, which is the ENEL15C. Now this new battery is particularly important because we've obviously had new 15 category batteries in the past. We've had a 15A, a 15B, and now the 15C. But the C is particularly important because it has an increased capacity. This is the first time that that's happened in the Nikon ENEL15 range. So when it comes to this battery, we have that increased capacity, which is going to allow us to have increased battery life. And this is going to be applicable to any Nikon camera user that has a Nikon camera, whether it's a DSLR or mirrorless, that takes the ENEL15 battery. So that means we're talking about D810, D850, D500, D750, D780, Z6, Z7, Z5, 7000 series, 7200, 7500. There's lots of cameras out there that use the ENEL15 battery. So this is applies to a lot of Nikon users. So I wanted to put a test together to figure out, you know, that extra capacity, how much battery life is it actually gonna give you? So the first thing I did was I set up a Z6 with a 70 to 200, and I did some video recording tests to see how long it would last when it comes to recording video. And so I set it up to record 4K, 25 frames per second, the screen on, the autofocus was active following a, a tree blowing in the wind. And I recorded using that same camera for two hours and 15 minutes using the standard battery. So just using the ENEL15B, I got two hours and 15 minutes. I then did the same test, same camera, but with the new battery, so the ENEL15C, and the camera recorded for two hours and 47 minutes. That for me was a real surprise. I was expecting an extra 10 minutes or 20 minutes at a push, but an extra 32 minutes really caught me off guard. It recorded for two hours and 47 minutes. So I honestly do feel like that this is actually a worthwhile improvement to battery life for any Nikon DSLR or mirrorless user to shift to a kind of an ENEL15C if they're concerned about battery life. If you're not concerned about battery life, then obviously that's not something you would need to do. Now, I haven't been able to do any tests when it comes to stills photography. I've just not been able to go out and shoot enough images to drain a full battery, but I'd fully expect that that 32 minute increase we saw in video would easily relay to another 50, 100, maybe 200 shots when it comes to a day's worth of photography. So even from a stills photographer perspective, if you're worried about your stills battery life when you're out and about shooting landscape photography, wildlife photography, it would also be a benefit to have an ENEL15C battery as well. Now, one of the other things I wanted to test about the 15 c was that in the Z5, it allows you to have the camera on and for the camera to be charged at the same time. And I wanted to figure out, is that a camera thing? or is it a battery thing? So if we put the 15C battery into a Z6 and plugged it into USB-C, would this battery allow us to be able to charge? There's a lot of people that ask questions, could I use a 15C battery in a Z6 and then charge and use the camera at the same time? So what I did is I plugged this 15C battery into a Z5 and I also plugged a USB-C cable into the side of the Z5 and then into a wall charger and plugged it in. I recorded for one hour, so 4K, 25 frames per second for one hour on a Z5 with the 15C battery in, and the battery drained from 100% to 98%. I then did that same test, so again recording 4K, 25 frames per second in a Z6 with the same 15C battery, I plugged the same charger in, set the camera to record for one hour, and the battery drained after that one hour to 78%. So unfortunately, having the camera on and having it charge at the same time is not a feature of just the 15C battery on its own. There also needs to be a feature inside the camera body, which obviously the Z6 and Z7 do not have, but the Z5 does. So I do think that if you're particularly interested in using your camera for longer periods of time, streaming, for example, that's where the Z5 is gonna have an upper hand 
above the Z6 and the Z7. But as I mentioned, I also think that for those of you that are either DSLR users or Z6, Z7 users, you will see a better battery life improvement just by moving to a 15C. So yes, you don't get the improvement of being able to charge the battery and use the camera at the same time, but you do get that better battery life when you are using the battery. And in certain situations where I'm out shooting wildlife or I'm out shooting landscape, to get another couple hundred shots or to get another another 30 second or a couple of minute long exposures out of a battery before it dies is something that's gonna be very important to me. So I think the extra capacity that's in this battery is useful, especially if you're concerned about battery life or if you've had issues with battery life when it comes to your Z6, Z7 and you want to improve that battery life. I hope that this video has been useful. I know that it's been a bit short. If you do have any questions or if you want me to test anything else when it comes to this 15C and battery life in terms of the Z6 and Z7 and things like that, then let me know in the comments below and I can do some other tests and I'll come back to you on those as well. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been useful. Goodbye.